Welcome back to Cookie and Hayden's. I'm Carboot Chris, and we've got Bargain Bell in the house as well. Hi. Hope you're all doing well. And um, this is our Reseller World live show, Monday night, 8 p.m. every single week. And this week, it's serious reselling content. Not that we could ever be serious. <laughs> well, that's what it is. You've got to be serious tonight. Oh, can I leave the room then? It's serious reselling I content. I don't do serious. Well, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, anyway, I hope you're all doing good. I hope sales are okay. We're going to talk all about eBay. We're going to talk about reselling. We're going to we're going to talk like about every, whatever you like. So it's like every other show. No, it's not. No. <laughs> Apart from the one where we do ding dong and giveaway prizes. We every week's different. Well, for four weeks, and then it starts again. <laughs> uh okay let's have a quick ganders. Um, if you're new, by the way, if you're new to the channel, I'm a full time online reseller buying and selling selling from charity shops car boot sales online wholesale vintage clothing all that kind of stuff flipping it for a profit annabelle is my sidekick albeit not officially she has her own proper job uh but she does help out quite a bit to be fair to her i do um I feel yeah like it. that's what we're all about um certainly when we're doing our show we do post other content on the channel because it's Cookie and Hayden's, so it's all about us. That sounds really kind of self-indulgent <laughs> and selfish, but that's what it it's is. It's technically not all about us. It's about the things we do, and normally that's because you want to give people ideas for stuff like places to go on holiday and things to do and places to visit. So, no, right. it's not self-indulgent at all. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. Right, let's quickly see who's in. I say quickly, but 15 minutes later, we'll probably still be here. Um, so, uh, hi, Katan. Uh, it's like being first in the queue for a new phone, and then he's gone off for a snooze. You can't do that when you're waiting for a phone. Uh, Gary's in. Tori's in. Uh, we've got Carl Phillips, James Tonks, Captain Up Shop Toby. Guten Morgen. Can I just say, James, I saw what you did for your lovely wife. It's very sweet. Very sweet. What's this? You bought her a lovely rose. It was very nice. See, you're not the only smoot you are. A rose? It was lovely. Yeah. Oh, you big plonker. I saw it. <laughs> um, Jason, the reselling game at Twistles in. Evening. Uh, we've got Rosie Marsden. We've got Steve O'Brano. Uh, oh, Steve O's uh, in early tonight, mind mm. you. So I think sometimes he lurks a bit in the background. <laughs> sometimes, and then he lurker. says hello right at the end, <laughs> just as we're about to leave. He's a stalker sometimes, uh, but uh, we always know he's there somewhere. Um, who else have we got there? Steve O again doing a thumbs up. Look at him. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else on a Monday night apart from on holiday, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God, I wish we could go on holiday right now. I really do. <laughs> 
Let's holidays. I just don't even know, especially abroad. Obviously, in the UK, once lockdown opens and things get eased, people will be able to holiday in the UK. But when are we going to be able to go on holiday abroad? Let's not go there. I don't think it's us. even going to be this year. Um, Trotters is in. Jamie. Yeah, it's G oh, Jimmy. Jamie. Um, I'm only kidding. Uh, yeah, remember them Tory holidays. <laughs> um, John the Brum resellers in, reporting for Spanner Duty. Excellent. Hopefully you'll do better than previous shows. <laughs> um, I've said Carl. Uh, let's see. Chris Tyler's here. Uh, did I say Rosie Marsden? Yeah. I can't remember. Mine's gone. Um, uh, uh, oh, pants. I nearly made it then as well. That was super fast. <laughs> we have Brummy Time Lord has joined us. Uh, we have Goat Jazz. We have Lana. Uh, we have Left Handed Hummingbird. Berg. Bird. Bird. <laughs> we have Green Bear Peaks. Oh, you've lost me. Who was, um, I saw his little um, Instagram post. He got his little, his little booby prize, which I hope he's happy with. Uh, we've got Oliver Ian in. God, Oliver Ian used to be first in. He's, like, he's, he's like well slacking. Commitment's gone. Well slacking. Commitment we is have, gone. Uh, Jeff, 1200 reforming. Yes, I'm, I'm with you now. Jeff's there. Come on. You can make a carrier. We have Terry Baker. Is that a new one? Are you our newbie of the night? Terry. Miss, Miss Lana. No, I've said hello to Lana. Oh. Terry Baker. Hey all. Do you recognise that name? Um I think they've been in the chat before, I think. Let us know if you've been in before or you're our newbie of the night. I like to find at least one newbie a night. We have Joe Noble. Is that a newbie? Hello, no, everybody. Joe's no. every bloody week. Where no. have you been? I've never I've slept since then. Victoria Plum. All over the show. Ray the Disabled Picker. Hi, Ray. Uh, Rebecca Turn is here, enjoying a Domino's. Oh, oh that's just oh. Not, That's disgraceful. Uh, Mr. Sprout is here. Hi, Chris Bell, Cookie and Chats. Aaron Tibbetts in. Steve Jackson's in. Night's Life has joined us. Hi, Richard. Uh, John at YLM. Paradox Picker. Did I miss one? Yeah, you, you're not very good. <laughs> John at YLM, yeah. <laughs> James said anything to get her to do the housework. <laughs> Buy me flowers, I might do more housework. Bailey's here. Anyone else? Scott D. Yep, Scott D. Queenie hello, Conquest, hello, hello. Queenie. aka Elaine, which I didn't even know that was a name until recently. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? Uh, Lane is in. Hi, Lane. Captain Upshot. For fuck's sake, it's gone again. Language. We only just started and you're at it. Hate it. Stu Mandry is in. Hi, Stu. Evening all has drew. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly did it. Oh. I nearly did it. <laughs> what does it mean? Crafty sod. Oh, yes. <laughs> you see, this oh is... Oh, my God. <laughs> this is what you have to deal with. I take a while sometimes. Jason's here. Hi, Jason. Um, did we say Rebecca Yes, Turner? we said hello to Rebecca. Uh, who's Niall Miller-Clark? Is that a new one? Hi, all. Yes, I think that's new. <gasps> Are you our newbie? Niall. I'm going to find at least, is it Niall? Good name. Niall. Niall. We need to find at least it's like one. like Niall Quinn Ooh. from the uh, City Days. Good old Quinny. Um, Don Clark. Sam's Adventures. Oh, I've lost it again. Uh, Terry says, watch the videos, but it's my first time in the live. I told you. Oh. Okay. Well, I was hearing on the side of caution, to be fair. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining us. It's nice to have you on board. Hope you enjoy the show. Oh, uh, where's so the close. reseller is in? Danny Danny Boy Wiltshire reseller. So got bellies on the screen tonight. Ah, oh, oh. sweetie pie. Yeah. 
it's it's serious reselling though so it's not my cup of tea i'm just gonna sit here and like... by the way how's laney how are you doing um i know she she picked oh, up this yes. damn um cold that's going around <laughs> i hope seriously she's not poorly because that would have been in bad taste no i think Some she's i think really she's fighting though. it well i think she's fighting it well. bloody coronavirus i hope you're okay laney i know uh i think she might have had it twice i mean yeah this is the second time oh around. dear uh phantom scribe has joined us evening uh oh. <laughs> green bear says i was i was impressed bell very very booby prize related <laughs> Hurricane Ian. Ian is with us and Dave repairs. Dave is well way. Yeah. Oh my God. To be honest, Dave, you might as well have not bothered to turn up <laughs> Don't. at this time. That is so mean. <laughs> Obviously, Dave, we appreciate He knows I'm only joking. He here. takes a piss in off. Um, Sorry. And swear. we're at the bottom. Lainey says, uh, I'm okay. Cough is improving. Still have an upset stomach. Sore tongue. Sore tongue. But I got meds for the tongue. My doc says, ring back with you. Ah, okay. Well, at least you're as long as you're okay, Lainey. That's all that matters. Don't forget movie chats quiz night on Thursday if you're up to it. David says, Has Belle got a hat on? No, just got yeah, my it looks hair. weird, doesn't got it? Got my hair tied up. She's kind of like, um, Come on, come on, what are you going to say? How are you going to bitch about me? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't, I won't do it. Uh, uh Bailey says, um, I've I've Chris more this week than my own mother. He's been alive nearly every. I've seen <laughs> Chris. I think. I'm, yeah, very unusual for me. I I do prefer making pre-recorded rather than live, to be honest with you. But sometimes it's just the way it goes. Phantom Scribe liked your e liked your live yesterday. It was really good, actually. Yeah, we'll have a chat about that in a minute. It was a good live show. Of course, Monumental is not here, so as usual. We can't I'll agree really and did Chris have to do the colour for Belle again? Actually, I did it myself this time because my arms weren't dying. They were dying after I'd done it. But I uh, went to the hairdressers at weekend. Did you see? Did you see? Look at that. Mm. Look at this. It's so stressful. So stressful. Oh, uh, Lainey says the quiz is already half done. Excellent. Oh, thank you, Lainey. See, even on a deathbed, she's working for you. I know. She's good. Uh, okay, so we're at the bottom and we've got a nice lot of people in, 70-odd people in the chat right now. Thank you very much. Don't forget to hit the like button, please. Um, it's very much appreciated. You might as well do it now before you forget. Just go and do it now. Um, <laughs> Steve's put, not too hard, Lainey. Remember, Chris will be by himself on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, you won't have me to help him answer all the questions. I've had it, basically. Because <laughs> my memory's terrible, to be fair. My memory is terrible. I can't remember. You know what? This morning, I got up. I had a wash and I just kept my dressing gown on and did a bit of work, did a bit of photographing and listing. And then about 11 o'clock, I thought to myself, I can't remember if I've had a wash or not. So he came and asked me. <laughs> so I asked her and she reckoned I had had a wash, but I couldn't be sure about it. But I just got dressed anyway. <laughs> my, thought, exact word, my exact words were, well, you've been in the bathroom. <laughs> so that wasn't a yes or no. Well, it could have been for a, a wee wee, couldn't it? Yeah. Uh, Rebecca Turner's got it right. Don't forget to tip your hairdresser. She gets plenty of tips. In one way or another, she gets the tips. <laughs> mm. I could not bloody remember. I, I Literally, I concentrated for a few minutes, I thought. Went through the morning, and I couldn't remember if I'd done it. The only thing I did was I moved my tongue around my mouth. <laughs> like that. Like, have, a, have a clean my teeth. Yes, I have. So that's the only way I knew. Dave says he's like you. I think we're all a bit like Chris at points. Yeah. Old age, isn't it? Um, uh, I've been given... Oh, oral <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Meh. Oral thrush meds. Yeah, it's for when you get like ulcers and stuff in your mouth oh, when okay. you've been ill. I thought someone was trying to trip me up again. <laughs> Bailey, tip one, wear black like me tonight. Is it? Oh, it's because we're both quite dark tonight, aren't we? Could be, could be. I haven't got my big pink fluffy um, hoodie thing on. How do you like the back, our background, guys? Because I did it on the live yesterday, on Sunday. I lit up, basically lighting up the wall. All right, because, I was going to say, what's different? Because it seems to focus 
us better when the, the background is lit up. And I've seen it on quite a few different YouTubers videos. They light the back up. So if it looks better like this, let me know, because what I might do is get a different color, get like a very light blue sort of background and light up the wall. Let me know if it looks any good or not. Why don't we just paint birdies on it and clouds? Why? I don't know. Mm. Something to do. Um, no hairdressers tips uh, for me anymore. Prices double. Well, Chris can't say that because he gets his for free now. Yeah, she does it for me. And to be fair, look at that. Look at the fade. Oh, it's that one. Look at the fade. <laughs> She's done a really good fade there, but she doesn't have stress about it. She's like, I don't know if I'm doing it right. That's good. She goes I'm mental. not a hairdresser. I'm not a hairdresser. <laughs> Dave likes black hair, apparently. Okay. How well, do you want us to respond to that, Dave? <laughs> um, I'll Lorraine at least get a picture on that wall. No, you can't have a picture. It's got to be... That was hinting he wants, he wants a picture of him on the wall. When we move and we get a different... When we're in a different house, I really want to have a better studio set up. I want to have a better setup. Nightlife likes it. It says it looks good, Chris. You look like an eBay listing. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Rich. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, actually. Just looking at it now, it's like. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, looks good. Why not? to get a hue bulb and you can be different colours every week. Yeah, maybe. Miss Queenie Queen said, calm down, you're beginning to look like professionals. Oh, God. We might look like them, but we certainly will never sound no, like them. No. <laughs> never, never professional enough for no. that. Um, did she fade from the front? <laughs> <laughs> don't light it up red. Never. I don't have anything red. Anything. <laughs> Just don't stand in the windows. Been there, done that. <laughs> you need a picture wall like the BBC broom closet. Yeah, that'd be a really good idea. Send, send us your pictures and we'll put them up. <laughs> we'll show them and stick them on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Stamped address envelope. Mood strip lighting. That's a good idea. Um, Bell looks good. Hmm. Val, your skills are very good. I would like you to chop you to my ponytail my... off. Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance. Seriously. I, you, you wouldn't believe the amount of stress I'm going to do when I cut his hair. No, she gets stressed. It literally, it, I had to sit down for 10 minutes after I'd done in the kitchen, like on a little stool, because I was like exhausted. Monumentals here at last. The second best Hi, clothing reseller. Peter Ray's here. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Have you been hugging a man oh, every day, Dave? It's got to be done every day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need Ed the Duck. Yeah, we need someone down here doing well, that. I was the Muppet. Well, who is that? <laughs> uh, okay, just as I get to Sue Robinson's in. Hi, Sue. I've uh, been watching... The snowstorm in oh yeah apparently it's going to be bad isn't it what where Who's, there's a big what? storm in New York oh is there um if it's a broom cupboard which one's Ed the Duck oh I don't mind I'll be Ed the Duck I ain't sticking my hand up your ass <laughs> <laughs> we'll save that for weekends. <laughs> I thought that was a one-off. <laughs> I want it every weekend. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's up with you? Oh, don't uh, check out this area. <laughs> oh, I'm crying now. I can't read. <laughs> Oh, uh, be says, lucky's in. Be lucky. Evening, you two, everyone in the chat. Queenie says, "How's the keto going? Fed up with meat and cheese yet? I'm actually really enjoying it. It's the only, I say diet because I'm trying to do it as a lifestyle change. Never mind, 
Diet always scares me, that word. Um, but I've actually, it's the first time in my life I've done an entire week without eating carbs. It's amazing. And I actually feel really good. <laughs> I do feel really good. What are you laughing at? Oh, the smutty start. <laughs> the problem is, Annabelle's on this keto diet, right? Right, she's losing weight left and over foot. <laughs> I'm putting weight on because I'm, I'm eating my carbs and I'm eating her keto diet. Because he's enjoying my food. I'm just ballooning. <laughs> my diet's gone out the window now, so you just look after yourself. <laughs> what has Mondo said? Bella, we're still talking hair as I dropped in midstream. <laughs> right, listen, right. This is meant to be serious reselling content, so we need to crack on with Go it. For it then. Um, okay, let's just crack on with it. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Um, I have no idea. Hang on a sec. Shout outs. Okay, so we've got a couple of shout outs to do, and I'm hoping I've got one of them right, although I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but certainly this one I have, the second best clothing reseller, um, Mr. Money Mental. Uh, obviously, we've got to give him a shout out. He came on the show yesterday, or we did a show together. Um, for those of you that watched, thanks very much. It was really interesting, all about wholesale clothing, our experiences in buying and selling. Yeah, okay, buying and selling. It was more about buying, but there you go. Um, and talking about Depop and eBay and just everything clothing related. And it was very, very interesting. Have you watched it back, dear? No, she hasn't. At what point? I've literally not stopped. You could stopped. have watched live and joined the chat. Oh, no, I did watch a bit of it live. I struggled to watch, right? I struggled to watch them no, live. Didn't. No, listen, I do struggle to watch. I watched some of it. I was on Facebook. But I do struggle to watch them live because I can hear Chris from up here so it's really difficult then because there's a time lapse earphones not that's lapse. the answer a time lag mm. lapse lag yeah. if you had earphones in it wouldn't matter i can still hear you that's hey. how loud you are go in the garden um so anyway it was a really good chat so if you've not yet watched it go and have a look on the channel um you can't miss the thumbnail andrew's got his tits out so have a look for that and you'll know where to find it. So <laughs> thanks very much, Andrew. And we'll look forward to do it again, doing it again soon. Now, also, I need to do a shout out. Now, this was sent to me, this DVD, Bloodsport 3. And first I wondered what was going on. But then there was a little note in, inside. Can we see it properly? Um, anyway, it's from Airedale Pickers, and on the back it says, the other 599 DVDs will follow shortly. Now... And can you guess which finger I gave him for that? <laughs> <laughs> now, Ray the Disabled Picker was talking to me about, talking to us about this last week, and he was saying he'll send us 600 DVDs. So I was a little bit confused because I wasn't 100% sure, but Ray, is that you, Ray? I'm, I'm assuming it's you. But thank you so much. And I did send an email. I sent an email to say thank you, just in case. So you should have had that thank you. So that, that's much appreciated. Thank you. I'm still waiting for those 599. Can you make them Blu-rays, please? Oliver Ian Bell loves people sending free DVDs. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. So don't even go there. Not even entertaining this conversation. Lots of people are saying that they enjoyed the live. Oh, good. Bailey says it was a great live for a Sunday afternoon. It was. It was really good, actually. I enjoyed it. <laughs> James says, Chris, you accept those DVDs, you'll get another f fist up your bum. <laughs> <laughs> another fisting. Uh, Mondo says, don't think you can buy Diet Vimto. Uh, yes, this is this is zero. Zero fizzy. This is zero Vimto. It's basically water, according to the ingredients. Ray, Ray says, yes, it is, and Hermie should have delivered by now. Ray, would you like me to ban you from the chat? Because <laughs> I will. <laughs> Ray, if you're going to send me 599 films, can I have them on Blu-ray, please? 
Brum's also sending you 600 DVDs. I swear oh, to God, shit. if we open the door no. one day and there's piles of DVDs, I quit. <laughs> I'm leaving. Second best, correct, Andrew. Second best, unfortunately. Uh, Joe said they uh, missed uh, the live yesterday. Uh, don't worry. Watch it back. It's really interesting. Genuinely interesting. Um, no messing about. It was an excellent educational live show. What I was listening to sounded good. Um, oh, pants. Dave, quit what? Laugh out loud. Everything. I'll quit everything. <laughs> Victoria Plum says, I'm still very surprised when my Hermes delivery guy actually turns up. It never gets old. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jason's jumping on it as well. I'll send you some DVDs. Seriously, I know what's going to happen here. Everyone's going to find it hilarious to just send us DVDs in the post. Blu-rays, please. Blu-rays. <laughs> At least make it useful. Blu-rays. The Dave said that... That it was, Chris, informative. It was informative. It was educational, informative, the whole lot. Uh, John sending a bo banana box full of my shit. I don't want DVDs. <laughs> I'm going to watch this one that uh, Ray sent me because it would be rude not to. But oh, uh, do you know, I'm missing blood in me, one in and me two younger first, days. Ray. In my younger days, Jean Claude Van Damme was like number one on my it's sealed as well. Not number one on my hottie list. Couldn't get enough of him. Fight to the death. It's an 18 certificate as well. No, oh, appreciate it. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you to send that to Mr. me. Mr. Sprout said, love the stream with Chris and Andrew. Might look more into clothing, but had to cut short. Picked up six video cameras for £17. Mm. That's good. <clears throat> Uh, where's the retail? Says going to send no. you a special box set DVD, The Ashes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bought that the boys once because the boys love cricket. 92 in the chart, a DVD each. <laughs> <laughs> Pell yeah. opens the door one morning, there'll be a wall of DVDs. Can we make a video of that, Chris? I know. I've told you I'm not entertaining this chat. I'm not. Uh, and Andrew is a wealth of knowledge. Yes. Um, yeah. He is. He's very, very knowledgeable. He retains information much better than most people. I think that's the, that's the uh, key. It's like I've forgotten within minutes. Victoria Plum says she has piles of DVDs, most worth nothing, but now and again you get a gem. Mondo Dr. Brush says I include a thank you note in all my sales, but rarely get feedback. How are you doing with your um, thank you cards and feedback? Well, they seem, seem to be doing okay, and feedback's rolling in, but I can't say that it's had a massive effect, and certainly nobody's taken me up. Not a single person has utilised that 20% off code. So I don't know whether that's worth it, but I still think it's a nice thing to do to just say thank you for your purchase. Um, Ray said all 600 are sealed and picked them up last year for 15 quid. I couldn't give a damn if they're wrapped in... Pretty paper and got a bow on them. I don't want them. <laughs> Thanks, Zora. <all right. laughs> uh, um, Night's Life says I can see the likeness between John claude Van Damme and Chris. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. <laughs> kind of got a similar six-pack, probably. Oh, Goat Jazz wants DVDs. There we go. Send them in. Anyone wants to get rid of it? There you DVDs, go. Feel free. Send them my way. Sift out the Blu-rays. Send the Blu-rays to me. I yeah, don't mind those. I collect Blu-rays, so. Rebecca Turner says, have you, have you seen the Chupa Chup station ring? God, don't even go there. <laughs> what we're going to give people is like booby prizes when we run out of Chupa Chups caps. <laughs> Forget it. Straight in the bin. I won't even sign for those. <laughs> oh, I keep trying to block people again. Why would you want Blu-ray? They're virtually worth it. It depends what the film is. There's a lot of Blu-rays that are worth good money, if you know what you're looking for. Like, you know, there's a lot that are worth good, good money. Ooh, Queenie's on it. Van Damme and Kickboxer. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, God, here we go. 
This isn't movie chats, you know. You can't talk about films. That's what we're you not, tell me when we're we not, talk We're about talking films. about hot blokes. Yeah, but he's coming. <laughs> That's girly chat, not movie chat. <laughs> Change your name to Music Magpie. <laughs> yeah. Students see the Chris Andrews stream. Um, he did manage to get his T-shirt on just before we started the stream. I asked him, if you watch the start of the stream... I'm, I'm telling him to get his T-shirt on, and he does, to credit him, so. Plenty of blueies, no blue rays, the rays said. Um, Victoria said she started putting a sticker on my sale saying thank you for supporting my email, my small business. That's good. That's good, yeah. Good idea. Chaz Flip Stuff. Oh, hello, Your name. Chaz. Hello, welcome to the chat. Feel free to join in at any point. Yeah, thanks for thanks for popping into the chat and saying hello. Um, so we've done our shout outs. Um, shall we share some sales? Should we do a sales update? Go for it. Um, oh, hang on. Chaz Flip Stuff is actually Guns OG. <laughs> Everyone's changing their bloody name. How are we supposed to know? Everyone's changing their names. <laughs> right, okay. Ah. Uh, well, well hi, you're a newbie. Thank you back. <laughs> yeah. It's a new name, Thanks so you're a newbie. Back. So you're going to be a newbie for a while. Um, okay, let's uh, let's do this. These are a few of my favourite things. These are a few of my Right, I'm just going to share the screen and our favourite things this week are going to be, of course, the most favourite things of all for a reseller and that is your sales. Um, so, See how many of them are my listings? That's mine. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> First one up, this is a selection of 10, as usual, 10 recent sales, just a variety, no rhyme or reason to it. Um, this is a Builder Bear, My Little Pony, but with a difference. It's got a sound box in it that plays a One Direction song. Probably was your listing, wasn't it? Probably. Uh, yeah, it plays One Direction. And uh, yeah, that sold for nineteen ninety nine, which was quite a good price for it. I did do that because I missed the voice box off the listing because I couldn't find the button. It was high up in the leg, wasn't it? Yeah. This mug I've had in for quite a while. I had two of them. They were brought in. That is a terrible picture. Look at that. That's how old that. This listing is really old because I do Holy not. Shit. Yeah, I do not take <laughs> pictures like that anymore. It's bloody awful. Um, I had two of these mugs. We brought them back from America, I think. Did we buy them from America? Yeah, we wouldn't have brought mugs back from America. I don't even recognise them. You know what? I'm not sure 100% now. I think it might have been a boot sale. But I bought two of these, um, and the second one just sold. But I've literally had this one listed for ages. It sold for $7.99 on an offer. This was a real nice sale. If you follow me on Instagram or you're on the Facebook page, um, this cycling jersey sold for $59.99. It's quite a rare one, um, the branding on it and that. If you look on eBay for these Bianchi uh campagnolos i think that's how you say it um they are quite sought after and they usually excuse me go for good money this this is going to the united states as well on gsp victoria plum said she sold a vintage my little pony house for 60 quid that she paid four pound for mm. so i've got 59.99 for this Came in as part of that big lot of jerseys. Cycling jerseys cost one pound. Well, the reason is I hear more about Chris going to America than Uncle Albert during the war. I know, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Andrew says he sold whatever that is before. He Boom. sold. He sold one of these. Yeah. But yeah, good sale. That cost what? Just about about a pound. Know, something like that. Um, I sold this Womble. Uh, backpack and fix it free to fix this for us over the Christmas period. Um, it one of the straps was broken, so she repaired it, and it's good as 
good as gold, not good as new, but good as gold. And uh, it went for £15 on an offer. Cost price, I think this was a boot sale. It was at... Um, Which one was it? Dawlish Warren. Bloody hot day, I remember. It was that Dawlish day. Warren. Dawlish Warren. Cost £3, I think. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember the lady was saying it was rare, it was vintage, and it was worth a lot of money, apparently. But it was worth £15 anyway. Tori says she's got one similar to that jersey on for 145 quid. It's a team jersey. Mm. Oh, you'll do well if you can get that, Tori. Bloody hell. And Mondo Daft as a brush said, when, when he's too long, eBay listings had an item on sale for two years, but nine watchers. Give them offers. Do you think they have them for sale too? The thing is, if you've got nine watchers, you probably already sent them offers because it's been up for two years. So those watchers carry over each month. So you probably already sent it. So if I was you, I'd be ending that listing, sell similar, change up a few bits, reduce the price, put it back on again. You'll be surprised. There'll be a good chance that if you had a lot of watchers on it, those watches will come back because they've probably got saved searches on. They might see a lower price and they might then buy it. So I would end it. If it's been up for two years, end it, relist it. Mr. Diggs has joined us. Hi, Mr. Diggs. And Ray said, Chris, do the right thing and give half of the money to your mum for fixing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's move on. Um, this sold. This is a BMW jacket. Picked up quite recently, probably the last boot sale we went to, actually. What was that one we went to where it was peeing it down all day? A little drive round, didn't we? The indoor one. Oh, in North Devon. North Devon, near Dave Repairs, not far from Dave Repairs. Um, I picked it up. It cost, I think it was four or five pound. It, in the end, it went for 30 on an offer, so I was quite happy with that. I sold this radio, this very, very... Cool, retro-looking crown. Not a great make, but cassette on it, radio. It worked absolutely perfectly. It was in great condition. I think it cost about four quid at a car boot, sold for $24.99. Also, this really stunning-looking, I think I put it on Instagram as well, uh, because I'm sure Brum Reseller commented on this, saying it looked like, um, oh, who's the guy out of the film? He'll probably remind us in the chat if he's still there. Uh, is it Ming? Ming the Merciless or something because of that, <laughs> because of the thingamajig, the collar. But, yeah, it's a, it's a real nice jacket, that. It came in a bundle of vintage stuff, uh, and it actually sold for forty four ninety nine. So very happy with that one. Now, this teeny tiny, this thing is really small. It's a Funko pint-sized figure, and they're about one and a half inches. There you go. Look at that. That's how big it is. Tiny. Teeny tiny little thing. It went for $9.99 on an offer. Um, cost price on this, less than one pound. So that's all right. Gets them moving. <laughs> the green says Ming didn't wear Puma, to my knowledge. <laughs> well, not Puma, but he knows what I mean. Uh, oh, he's got look it on up. him today. I know, yeah, he's him. being funny today, isn't he? Um, if you look up Ming the Merciless. Ming the Merciless. I'm sure it was Brum Reseller. Images. Oh, shit. Doctor Strange has a similar sort of... There. <laughs> yeah, Doctor Strange has a similar sort of colour. Um, let me finish this up, this sales roundup. So I sold these two um, mini mini steins. They're not the normal sort of big stein mugs that you see. These were kind of like mini ones. Um, they went for £15 for the pair. Um, I'm not sure the cost price, but it was... I think they were about like 50p each or something at a boot sale. And the last one I'm going to share with you are these roller boots, which also sold for £15. I've had these quite a while now. I think I got them really early in the summer, maybe at a, at a boot sale, maybe, or a jumble trail or something. Um, but they went for £15. God only knows what they cost me. I can't remember. There you go. There's a little sales update. But just to show you, that's, in case you don't know, but that's Ming the Merciless. And yes, the collar does kind of look like that. 
See, Bailey said the same as me, also Doctor Strange said, but Chris wouldn't have a clue who he is. He's Doctor Strange. But he has a similar colour anyway. Yeah, anyway, there you go. Got a few people saying <laughs> Ming was more of a lacrosse, a lacrosse guy. Where are you up to with the chat? Uh, DB Resells has joined us. Hi, Damien. Joe Noble says the jacket collar looks like a Time Lord. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I'm just seeing now what where we are with the chat. Oh, we're pretty much we're pretty much up to date. Yeah, I'm keeping. You're doing well. I'm doing well. Well I'm done. Aware. Well done. Victoria says cool roller boots. I had Starlight Express ones back in the late '80s. They came in red or blue. I'd love to be able to oh, wear roller boots again. I hate it. I, I did go roll to a roller boot, roller ring. That's what it's called, wasn't it? A roller ring a few times, but I could not roller skate at all. I was useless. Stu Mandry said the roller boots would go well with the breezy short skirts Andrew was modelling earlier. Ah. Oliverine, I'd like to apologise on behalf of Chris for his lack of movie knowledge, especially the biggest franchise of the last 15 years. <laughs> What's he on about? You, because you don't know who Doctor Strange is. Oh, Doctor Strange. Now, he said, I wasn't listening. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's Marvel, isn't it? Ugh. What? Just generalise that. Uh, Phantom Scry says, have you listed all those pins yet, Chris? No. I'm pretty sure he's waiting to give them me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through them all when I get time. And I'm going to put them in categories, and then I'm going to go, there you go, <laughs> you list them. <laughs> you list and them. I have to sit there for hours doing research on them. There's a lot of people watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you can. Yeah. Uh, it would be very much appreciated. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, anybody new who's not been here before, say hello in the chat, and we'll give you a shout out. I'm trying to keep up with everybody. Um, but it does get hard the more and more people that come in. Sue said she had the skates that used to fix to your own shoes back in the late 70s. They were lethal. Oh, they yeah, I remember lethal. those. The remember metal those. things. So cheesy, weren't they? Um, Lainey gets some... No. Lainey, there's no Marvel questions <laughs> at all. That is not fair. Oh, Goat just used to play ice hockey for a while. Oh, right. We went watching the um, thingies a couple of times, didn't we? The old, um, in Altringham, some oh, of the yeah, ice the hockey teams. Manchester that, Storm. Yeah, Manchester Storm. Quite enjoyed that. Highlighted comment says, "Boom." Yeah. Boom what? to you too. Uh, couldn't roller skate. Good at ice skating. Taurus says, "Question: How many Depot listings have you Give done?" Give me a chance. We only <laughs> talked about it yesterday. <laughs> Um, at the moment, I've got 30 live listings on Depop. I need to get to 100 to truly test it out. It's going to take some time, though. Sean H says, evening, guys. Hi, Sean. Are you new to the chat? Are you responding to my come and say hello appeal? If you are, welcome. I don't recognise the name, so hello. No. Thanks for joining us. There you go. You know you've hit the big time. Bell gives you a wave. <laughs> uh, was good at roller skating until I tripped over paving slab. Oh, shit. I think everybody's probably got a skating accident mm. somewhere in their um, resume. <laughs> Mr. Sprout said he preferred Flesh Gordon. Yeah. What a class film that is. I've got that on DVD somewhere. Victoria Plum didn't do very good. She said that she tripped over and broke her wrist while skating, so sold them to a kid down the road and bought some party shoes and then tripped over from the party shoes and broke the other one. It was destiny. <laughs> <laughs> See, there, yeah, they were dangerous when they slipped off the edge of your foot. I remember that. Your foot used to go off the end, off the side of them. And I wasn't even born in the 70s, believe it or not. <laughs> Apparently, I've heard, I've heard about this one division. Is it a Marvel thing? There's something called WandaVision. Okay. And um, I've heard about it. I might give it a go, although I'm really not a fan of that kind of thing. So. We don't watch any of them. We've never watched any of the Marvels TV no. series, have we? You need to get more than 100. Oh, bloody hell. 
<laughs> Stop raising the bar. Let me at least get He's to 100. He's six today on Depop. Yeah. Oh, oh watch, show and watch Sunday's live. Okay, that's cool. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, Got thanks some... for coming and joining us today. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, thanks for sharing the love. Oh, Howard's suitcases. Hi, Belle. Hello. Are Mike. you are you a newbie as well? I don't recognise your Mike name. Mike Dando says hello as well. Uh, Howard's suitcase. Howard's suitcase. Evening. Now you're going to ask him, aren't you? You're going to say, "What's what's the name all about?" Go on. You can let us know what what <laughs> what Howard's what what is Howard's suitcase. Oh, Mondo's at it. Don't go there. All right, Cola Flippers popped in. Hi, Lee. Uh, he's liking One Division. Weird but good. I tell you what, we're loving at the moment. I know when we're going way off. This is meant to be serious reselling content, but Money Heist on Netflix. We're into the fa we're into season four, uh, which is the last current season, and they're making a fifth. But that's a great series. Mm. Really loving that series. <laughs> I like bum grab picker. He says, accidentally unlurk by typing this. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, bum crack. <laughs> what have you got next on your list? Um, I've got uh, I've got some stuff to talk about reselling. Go for it. Are we at the bottom? We know damn well if we get people talking about movies, Mandy that's Moo? it. There's someone called Mandy Moo in. Oh, no, that's Mike Dando. <laughs> There's Mandy Moo. Hello. Mandy Moo is lurking in the background. Hello. Thanks. Well, you're not good lurking evening. in the background no more because you've come you're forward in the line hello, so hello. Uh, Howard says he's got a lot of baggage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, fair enough. Right. Now then, let's talk about some proper reselling stuff. Here's a question for you. And I'm hearing mixed answers. And that question is, and I'll demonstrate it just in case you're not aware of what I'm talking about. But most of you will probably know what I'm on about. Let me just get, let me get it up. It's not listening. What? Uh. Sorry, you missed it. You missed Sorry, it. Sorry, I'm, I'm, um, I was checking I've not missed anything in the chat. Deep in concentration. Uh, I'm going to edit. I'm going to revise an item. What? Howard's suitcase says you should know him. He bought a raffle ticket. <gasps> tut, tut, tut. Oh. Dog house. Sorry. Dog house. But people go by different names. I should know Ray, the disabled picker, but he sent me something with a different name <laughs> on it. And we've just had somebody join us called Brickhouse Salvage and Antiques. Yeah, Brickhouse Steve has been in a few times. Four. Um, Howard Suitcase, I do apologise. Do you? Um, I think you might go by a different name, but I'm not sure. Right. This is my question to you lot, and that is, when you're doing item specifics... Oh, I've picked the worst one possible. Hang on a minute. It doesn't have it item specifics on that category. Um, here, I'll pick this one because I tried it before. Revise. When you're doing item specifics. Fuck's sake, come on. Right. Do you try... Can you see? Oh, you can't see now. Can't see. Well, you can see the bit that's important. That blue dot, do you try and fill it? And when I say that, do you try and put every one of the recommended item specifics in, even if it means putting not applicable in or typing it yourself or putting a line or NA? Do you try and get that blue dot filled? Because I'm hearing. Excuse see if I can me. try and show you. No, it's just too. It, the, oh, there, 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 there. Do you try and fill it? Because I've got. <laughs> Excuse Jesus me. Christ. I've got different reports about whether you should be doing that or not. Because in the States, um, there was a an eBay seminar, you know, eBay open thing that they have. Um, 
they had an eBay representative tell a massive audience that that blue dot should be filled in to get to optimize your listing. So that even that means that where something's not applicable, they're telling you to write NA, write your own thing in there. Now, that's one thing, but I've been speaking to an eBay representative here in the UK. Um, I have a contact that I can speak to uh, following on from when we visited eBay. And they're telling me under no circumstances should you be typing in your own things on item specifics. Because if you do that, that will skew search results. Um, so we've got two differing answers. Some people fill them all in, some people leave them. So what I'm doing now, based on the fact that the UK eBay person has told me leave it blank if it doesn't apply to you that's what they're saying don't fill anything in what do you guys do let us know let us know in the chat go got a few different things where are you up to what time Kurt? Uh, so i can have a look dave repair says nope fill it dave says fill it tk says no nah, just bare minimum um, oh, told you my phone was gonna die. Hang on a minute, Just, before you said... carry on, Ray. Three weeks is a long time for my memory, <laughs> but yeah, at least we sorted it anyway. Stu Mandry says, Short answer, no. <laughs> DB Resale says, No, because there's only 24 hours in a day. Um, Andrew says, I've never bothered with the item specifics unless I'm forced to. Uh, Tori says, Yes, I always have the ring of blue. Mm. Victoria Plum, nope. Can't stand specifics. James Tonks, I've started to do it, but a lot I add not applicable mm. if I'm not sure. See, that's what they're saying that you shouldn't do. Goat Jess says, no, don't bother with most of them. Brum Reseller does do it. Uh, Chris Ood, O U L D, old Ood. Uh, yeah, fill the blue dot. Mm. Brickhouse says, I only put in what I have to finish the damn thing. Mm. <laughs> Katan, I do enough to make the blue go filled. And, yeah, I do. Not applicable, but most of it is a load mm. of crap. But Jason says, as long as you've got a couple filled, that's enough, not the whole lot. Mr. Sprout, no, I put various. See, everyone's doing different things. And this really, I said, I've told, I said to the eBay rep that I spoke to, that really it would be great if eBay could do one easy, re really easy peasy thing. And that is just put a message out to sellers and say, either fill the blue dot or don't, or only fill in the specifics that are relevant, leave the others blank. At least we would all know where we stand. I mean, that's a good thing at the moment, Aaron. it's not working. Aaron says, I do try to do the recommended because it keeps telling you on the app or else you end up with those women. Yeah, I mean, I've got it on mine. I've got 800 and something that need doing. <laughs> uh, Victoria says she fills half of it. Thank you for the bless yous. Uh, excuse me. Now, it's one of these eBay opens, Katan. It was an eBay open. I've I've heard it from um, from Jason T. Smith told me he was at eBay Open and they were blatantly told by someone high up in eBay to fill in that blue dot. But now I'm being told something different here. Sean H has put the quickest specifications in and leave it. Uh, what I do now is I at first, I mean, I was telling you to do it. I was doing it when I was listing. I was filling in every one of those to get that blue dot filled up and writing in NA if it wasn't applicable. But I'm being told now that's the wrong thing to do. So now I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah, Cole Flipper says, fill in the item specifics if you can, but some things are not relevant at all, like character. Yeah. It's a Vivian Westwood coat, not a toy. Exactly, not a yeah, yeah, totally. Steve-O does it as well. He puts NA sometimes as well. <laughs> Kitan, that could be the start of your keto flu. <laughs> No, I had a headache for the first three days, and I think that was my keto flu. I've been all good since then. 
Uh, Tori says, I get the info needed, or if I can't get it, I put NA. See, it's so confusing. I wish they'd just clarify it. TD says important specifics only. Uh, Mr. Sprout said, if you leave it blank, you get emails saying IS needs filling. Yeah. Um, you shouldn't get emails saying that the recommended only the uh, only the essentials. There's a difference. You've got the first lot, the first bank that pop up. They're your essentials. You have to fill those in to get your listing up. The second block are your recommended. They're the ones that I'm talking about with the blue dot. Um, your last bit are the ones that aren't, re you know, that aren't sort of tracked. Like extras, aren't they? Extras, additional Jason extras. Jason says trying to fill it all in would take longer, better time listing though. Just put in the important info for that listing. The thing is, if eBay turned around and said to us, fill the blue dot, 100%, fill the blue dot and um, write in NA, I'd be happy to do it. Yes, it would take time, but we'd get there eventually. I wouldn't go back and do them all now. I'd do them when I do the recycling. After four months, I would then add them in. But I feel like I don't want to waste my time unless it's absolutely necessary. Dave Prepare says item specifics are useful for searching. He uses them a lot when purchasing. Oh, yeah, they definitely work. So you should put in, you should fill them if you know the answer to it. You should fill it in. If you don't, then the question mark is, do you leave it blank or do you write in? Mr. Dick says he tries to put in as much as he can, but sometimes you have to leave stuff out. I find that sometimes there's just no answer to it. Yeah, sometimes there and is. It doesn't no always give you an option of typing not, not applicable either. Dave says it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> that yeah. sums it up. Yeah, totally. Hurricane Ian is with us. He says, adding what I can. Yeah. DBA Resale says, it's not affecting sales. The app shows how many of my item needs these specifics, and that number keeps going down when I sell something. Hmm. So if it's not affecting your sales, then I suppose that's part of the answer, isn't it? Yeah. See you later, Andrew. See you. Thanks for popping in. See you later. Let's try and get to the bottom of this one before I move on. Um, James says he's trying to do the one, um, so the main ones that show that you're going to appear in more searches. That kind of makes sense. So if one says 27,000 people search this, then that might be one worth doing. If one says 800 people search this, maybe it's not as not as important. Stu Mandrew says, I'm not too sure I would talk, would believe something an eBay rep told me. <laughs> but Stu, I'm not talking about someone who I've just rung up. I'm talking about someone who I've got a regular contact with uh, because because we went to eBay. Um, they gave us a regular contact. And when they don't know the answer, they always go away and ask the relevant department and come back. So I'm reasonably, I'm say reasonably confident that what he's saying is correct. Um, however, it would be nice for them to really clarify that because... If it's true, you, you don't need to fill in the ones that are not applicable, then just tell us and stop wasting time. It's an easy thing to do. Uh, it's like I said to him, I said, can you not just get an email out? Surely it's it's it would take like five minutes to just put together a quick email to remind people about item specifics and say, you don't have to put in no, not applicable. You know, don't waste your time if it's not applicable. Shabatron has joined us. He said, what the heck did I miss? Loads. Oh. You'll have to watch back, Shabba. Um, BJ Johnson has joined us. He says, hi, guys. And I read this before I read it out just in case. Yeah. Uh, he said, hi, guys. I'm a newbie. Uh, so hello. Thanks for joining us. Uh, please could oh, you God. advise me on your top three tips for starting out? Thanks in advance and take care. Oh, crikey. Okay. Um, first tip. If you're totally new, start off by selling stuff in your house to get used to reselling, to get used to how eBay works, to build up a bit of profit that you can then spend on buying items to then resell. So that's your first tip. Second tip is have a de to start off with a decent, um, a decent stock system. Don't do what I do. Um, use the SKU system on eBay on your listings so that you can write box number one, 
box number two, box number three, so that you can find items really easy. That's really important because even though it might not matter much when you've got one or 200 items, as you start scaling up, you find it's harder and harder to go back and do that. So start off in the best possible way. Because when you get to like me, I've got 1800 items listed. Um, you just can't go back. You can't go back. Um, so start it like that. And probably the third tip, other than things like take good photos, that goes without saying, is have best offer on everything. That's what I would do. Have best offer on every single thing. There you go. Tori put a question to the chat. Do you think eBay cap your selling capacity have sold the same monetary value of items for the last four months? Steve, it's funny you say that, Tori. Steve agrees. That's what I had on my list for tonight. <laughs> and Just the question is, thunder. is eBay suppressing listings? That was my next question. There you go. She's She does that much for you. She can literally read your mind. Um. So when we say, is eBay suppressing listings? Um, I had a conversation with Tori about this today, which is probably why she's mentioning it, because she asked me kind of this earlier. Sorry, bloody Vimta. But what I've noticed, and it could just be co total coincidence, and that is that when I have, and I did a video on it, if you want to go back and watch it, I was pretty annoyed. But when I did a markdown sale, and I have done markdown sales a few times they used to be very effective now what i'm finding is you set up a markdown sale and all of a sudden you, your sales actually tank and you 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 don't actually seem to sell more you seem to sell less so for some reason our ebay capping you know, or suppressing your listings because you've got a sale on that makes zero sense to me and i don't buy I don't buy the theory that, oh, eBay are now getting less money because you've discounted your stock. Don't buy that at all. They, At the end of the day, eBay just want you to sell your stuff and move on and get some new stuff on. Um, also, when you've got returns open, especially multiple returns, over the Christmas period, I had three returns on going at once, and that's really unusual for me. And my sales just dropped off a cliff while that was going on. And lo and behold... When my last return was finalized, bang, sales went up again. And also, if you've got cases open with disputes, I'm, I'm convinced that there could be some suppressing of listings while those disputes are ongoing. Just an opinion. I'm not saying it's happening, but it's just a theory. Uh, but it could be good to hear what people are saying. And well, just before we move on, we've had uh, we've got JR, JR reselling with us. And they put, good evening, Hi guys. everyone. I think that as long as you put down as much information as possible about the item in the description, that's always been the key for me. So Mr. Sprout says he's glad it's not just him, so he obviously agrees with Tori. Uh, so they throttle a lot of things. Catan says they throttle a lot of things, e.g. I call eBay and a few moments later I get a sale. At the moment, I'm selling iPad covers that has been there for a year and now two to three a day. So the key is ring eBay every day. <laughs> <laughs> get on the phone every morning, nine o'clock. Hi, it's Catan again. How's it going? All right, yeah, see you later. Bang, get some sales in. Uh, Taurus just says it seems really strange. Yeah, I mean, I, Tori sent me a picture of her graph, and it looked very odd. That's not normally how it looks. Literally, four months of almost identical. So mm. very strange. James has said 9 p.m. and Belle hasn't yawned yet. What's going mm, on? Give it time. It's keto. I'm, like, full of energy. She is. It's brilliant. She's, she's all over the place. I actually stayed up past 9 o'clock over the weekend as well. Chris wasn't left on his own. There we LB go. Retro's in. Hi, Bill, Lucy. Uh, Brickhouse says they don't care about sellers. It's most obvious when eBay doesn't force buyers to pay immediately. I'm sick of stuff. Yeah, that is something that's highly, highly annoying. I think at the moment, actually, the fact that that buyers, you know, when they put offers in and stuff and they don't have to pay immediately, that is one of the most annoying things at the minute. Very annoying. Green Bear says, Chris, can your mole get the knock list? Green Bear. 
Can you unmold? What does that mean? Person you know in eBay. Oh, what's a knock list? I don't know. What's a knock list, Green Bear? Shebatron says, question, what is your favourite item range to sell, i.e. Star Wars, DVDs, gaming, penguins, you stole, etc. Question yeah. to you both. <laughs> um, well, I found a new love of what I like to list, and that's the uh, vinyl mations because they're really quick and easy. <laughs> mm. So at the moment, that's my, that's my thing. These things. Yeah. I really enjoy doing. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, I really enjoy, and believe it or not, some of these are worth blood. That good one is. Money. That's yeah. worth like fifty quid. That's worth fifty quid. That some of them are quite unusual, and if they're like no longer made and stuff like that, or the certain variants. But some are worth next to nothing as well. Yeah. So I care. What's so, yours? Uh, favorite. I, I like. I still like picking up film-related stuff and um, figures and. Like decent figures, I'm talking like sort of the 40, 50, 60 pounds sort of bobblehead uh, door knockers and and they're the ones that, that he doesn't end up keeping. Yeah, cola floppy, cola floppy, cola. <laughs> floppy cola, <laughs> cola flipper, cola That's flopper. Eighteen hundred items. Wow, says I've got one hundred and sixteen. <laughs> it's not quantity, it's quality, Lee. That's all I can say. And you're saying yours is qual quantity. No, mine's quality and quantity, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, LB says, Chris, I think you look good with a skinhead. Not a chance, Bill. You know why? My head is covered with moles. I'm quite a sort of, I've got like freckles, I've got that kind of complexion, and I've got like quite prominent moles on my head mm. to the point where I have to tell the hairdresser, be careful, I've got a mole there. I don't He's want to. talking it about me. He yeah. tells me constantly. Swiping off. Sean H says, How many are you listing a day? Bill and Chris. Well, me at the moment, not many. I, I Chris, Chris gives me a target of 100 a, a month. month. So I do mine in like my spare time when I'm not doing my normal job and housework and all the other stuff. I I sort of, if I can do 15 to 20 in a day, I'll be, I'm pretty happy with that. That that um, That's kind of what I aim for. Sometimes I achieve it, sometimes I overachieve it, or sometimes I don't get it at all. But it depends on the day because Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I do I do my picking, postage and packing in the afternoon. So that takes up sort of half my day. So I only have the mornings on those days. And then if I'm outsourcing on a normal or day. Or making videos. Or making videos, that reduces my time. So, yeah. I aim for 15 is, is all right. That's why he likes me to do it because if I've done – Seven the night before. It was an easy it's morning for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, apparently, um, Bill says I look hot. Thank you very much, Penta. Mm. I think you need to wipe your glasses. Uh, I don't think he wears glasses. Needs some. There. Must be blind. Catan <laughs> uh, says I've had no sales for three days with the return case open in the background. I called them up to remove slash close and bang, I'm getting sales. Well, there you go, Catan. There could be something in it. There could be something in it. Green Bear says he's never had a markdown campaign. He's just up to the promo to 2%. I used to do markdowns. Um, I used to do markdowns a lot, and they were really good. You know, not 20 25% off everything in the st store. Bloody Vinter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. It's a Vinter. I apologise. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, listen. I used to do markdowns a lot, uh, and they were very effective, but of late, no. And even when you do markdown linked with promoted listings, no, still doesn't happen. So I'm not doing them again. Where's the reseller agrees with the returns or cases throttling sales? Mm. Uh, Mondo says, I've had one return where the buyer removed the circuit board for his broken part and returned for a refund, even though the fault was in the listing proved it was working. <sighs> Oh dear. Uh, Bailey says, "Have you checked your traffic performance, Chris, to see this what the stats say about impressions?" I'm always looking at that. I'm always looking at that. Uh, Jason says it would make sense about the online movement, I guess, but could be sourcing the raw products slash Brexit maybe too. Hmm. Oh my God, Nampiami snores that bad. Then you need more time. 
Uh, Mr. Diggs says, I'm sure eBay do things to suit themselves. They're always fiddling with something and can't leave. I know, I know. They do fiddle with things a bit. They do mess with things in the background. TK says, I think people spend too much time overthinking stuff that we cannot prove or change. You're probably right, TKs. I'll have it. Energy into listing good stuff at a fair price and don't fiddle with them thereafter. I, I think ultimately, I think you're absolutely right, TKs. There's lots of theories go around with how eBay works and none of us know truly none of us know um no but it's just when you see the patterns isn't yeah it? You, you do start seeing patterns there's absolutely no doubt about it but t cakes is correct in the fact that if you've got a really good item and you're selling it for a good price you're not going to have a problem it will sell but he also says he doesn't do sales or send offers right so it just shows everybody who works differently, don't yeah. they? Uh, D-Bay says, I've got a £65 UPI case open right now. Very annoying. Oh, that's annoying. Cola says, my monthly sales have been very similar month on month recently, but I'm now trying to list 40 things a month more than I sell. Okay. I remember him yeah. saying that when he was on the show. Yeah. To grow my shop, let's yeah. see if the sales increase. Welsh Pokey Picker said, I received the... Cushion today made a video of it and gave. Oh, thank oh, you! Brilliant. I'll dig that out. It is on uh, on Instagram. Howard Suitcase says they should give you a positive feedback after a month if customers can't be asked to fill it in. That's a fair. That's a fair yeah. comment. Yeah, yeah, it's a fair comment. comment. Or, yeah. <laughs> Tori said it was worth fifty until you dropped it and his ear broke off. <laughs> you little mouse. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know. Mm. Uh, already hooked. Can't wait to get in the field <laughs> and buy some crap. <laughs> Being on the booties. James says, I'm lucky if Sarah does 10 every three months. <laughs> she does have incentives. She, it's an incentive-based scheme that yeah. I, I run. Yeah, it lets me out the house like once a week. Uh, go, Gary says, Chris, you're doing... I don't think I'm going to do a live tomorrow, Gary. Uh, I think I think everyone's seen more than enough of my face for the last seven days on lives. Uh, so I might give it a, a, a miss this week, but I might come back next week with a live listing. Um, I've been on too much this week, and people get sick of seeing your Mr. face. Sprout, well, no, apparently Mr. Sprout's also asking if you're doing a dawn tomorrow. Oh, bloody hell. Cold Flipper says true on quantity over quality. He says it's got 116, but it totals at £5,650. That's, that's a really good average price. That's really good. Yeah. I, um, I, I don't think I'm going to do it tomorrow. BJ Johnson is a Spock addict. It's not something we've ever used, is it? No, I've never seen anything. I've got the app. I've never seen a damn thing on there that's of I've any never use. Really looked. LB Retro says it up everything by 10% and then give discount of 10%. <laughs> Top John. <job. laughs> Done job. Ray says he can't get the wife to do any listings, but to be fair, she does do all the packing. <laughs> Bailey says, disgusting. We live in Devon now. Belly's now thinking. Uh, <laughs> uh, I still laugh at the <laughs> incident. Love the Yeah. Uh... I thought it was hilarious because I literally, I obviously wasn't listening to whatever he was saying. I paid no attention whatsoever. <laughs> but the look on his face was classic. It was uh, good. Pokey Pickers said, said he sent me episode 53 on Instagram. Okay, I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look. I'll get. I'll put it on my thing. Now... There was a question way, 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 way back that I was thinking to myself, you need to remember who asked it hmm. and what it was. And I can't remember either. No, I, knew that was coming. I can remember kind of what the question was. It was something like, um, what do you think the like top selling thing to buy and sell at the moment is? It was something like that. So who, if somebody asked that question a while back, Please put it back in because the chat was going too quick and I couldn't sort of get back to ask it. Victoria Plummer's asked, do you price the same or above other sellers or undercut the lowest? 
It depends what it is, really. Um, it, I just do it on... Sometimes. I tend to go middle to high, but have best offer on it so that people can put in an offer. But it all depends. If there's tons, then maybe I'll go towards the bottom end or maybe I'll undercut the lowest. I was going to say, because normally you say if there's only like one other on there, then you can do whatever, can't you? Because once that sells, exactly next in line. If you find that there's only one bit of competition, I still think you can go way over their price because theirs will sell and then yours will be left to be the only per the only one on there. Um, but again, also, this question depends a lot on what you paid for an item and whether you can afford to undercut. If you pay £1 for an item and the lowest price is £20, then you can afford to undercut a bit, can't you? You can go £18.99, £17.99. So, yeah, it, it, it depends on quite a few variables, that. Nice Life said he's trying to work around everyone, but he's doing a live with Darren from e Gum this week. Oh, okay. Let Interesting. Let us all know when that is. Interesting. Carl Phillips says, how do people have enough stock backlog to list 10, 20 listings a day? Is it down to wholesale or as and when I buy stuff, I get it listed straight away? Um, the thing is, Carl, once you're in main season, so once you're in summer season and you're going to car boots every single weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and your charity shopping during the week and stuff, and you might be buying wholesale, you might be buying online retail arbitrage, once you're in all that, um, you you within a week, you can be behind on your listings. And that, that you can be behind massively within a couple of months. You can have a massive death pile. That's um, pretty much what Victoria Plum said. You literally can lose it within a week if you if you've had a busy sourcing week, and then like me, like I might do a car boot charity shops, and then buy a bundle of clothing that's got like you know a hundred items in. I'm I'm done. You know, I that's going to take me ages to get through. BJ says he sold to Welsh pole picker, pole picker. Ah, cool. Sean H says Belle looking lovely this evening. Thank you very much. Um. Are you doing a breakfast show tomorrow morning? This is the only show I do. Breakfast show. This, this is this is my cut-off point for being involved in shows. I'll leave the rest to Chris. Yeah, she just does Monday night. Ben. I just do a Monday night. And I never used to do that. It was all Chris. But here, here I am, moral support. Uh, Colour Flipper says, I used to say £10 profit, but then I filled the house with crap. Mrs Cola was not pleased. Now it has to be £20 minimum profit after fees, even higher if it's hard to package. I've got a video hopefully coming out this week where I'm talking about um, how I'm upping my lowest value items. Because I don't really want to sell anything less than £10 if I can help it. Or £9.99 is going to be my lowest sale for sale item. So um, I'm going to release a video this week about that and, and another thing that i'm doing to change the way i work so that'll be an interesting one um so look out for that when it comes out tk says depends on the quality of the item he got 285 pound for a set of harry potter books not long ago miles above the highest previous one hmm. yeah uh, certainly with stuff like books obviously you know you can you can go way above the lowest price if your if your quality is better yeah nights i serve he's looking at wednesday or thursday but he'll confirm tomorrow Good, okay. Cool. From reseller, think about Q4 and Q1. So just hoover up anything you see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The thing is, you're at a boot sale, right? And it happens probably more at boot sales than anywhere else. You're at a boot sale. And if you see quality stuff that you like to sell, you're not going to walk past it because it's like a pound, two pound, 50p. And it becomes an obsession. Yeah. So <laughs> you can seriously fill a car very, very easily if you're at the right kind of boot sale. So, but you always take it when you can because the week after it might be pissing it down. You don't get to go to a boot sale or it might be closed or, or you, you might, might have a pandemic. Or you might go and not. <laughs> yeah. Or you might go and find nothing. Exactly. Yeah. So always take it when you can get it because you don't know when the next one's coming as we know oliver Ian says chris will be listing cycling jerseys till 2023 hashtag true story yeah <laughs> i've still got loads I've still got loads you got some in your last lot didn't you as well. I, and yeah in my last in my last vintage haul that i did recently video out now go and watch it 
Um, there was some more cycling jerseys. I can't resist because they're so cheap. Um, and Dave says their appearance fees are too high <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Jason says, I have loads at home and a full storage unit. I haven't been there for over a year. It's a surprise when I go there as I forgot what's in it. I'll tell you something, there's so many people in this chat that would love to come and visit you <laughs> and just have a good rummage around. You'll have them like queuing up at the door. Tori says she sells with a min minimum of £10 profit. So Tori does goes on profit. She wants to make a minimum of £10 on an item rather than a sale price. But that would mean it would have to be at least ten pound anyway, wouldn't it? Because if you get it for free, you could sell it for no, you'd have to sell it for twelve pound then to get a ten pound profit. So I'm guessing, Tori, then with that in mind, you you don't sell anything less than ten pound. Ah, that just caught a my neck, <laughs> bastard. John H says, "I hope Chris is paying you well for tonight's appearance." Oh, don't worry, it's going on the tab. Mm. I'm sure he'll pay me at some point. Don't be silly, Steve. Don't be silly. <laughs> I don't need to watch it. I get to sit and look at all this stuff. It was sat on my sofa for three days, okay? And then it was spread out over my living room floor. I don't mm. need to watch the video. I know how much crap I have in she my house. She doesn't watch him anymore. I do. I periodically go through and then just watch a load and like them all and I'm done. There we go. Oliver Ian, stop dropping me, in it. Mm. Oh, hi, Liz. That's my sister's joined us. Drop hello. to say hi, big sister, sister in -law. as opposed to the brother-in-law. I, I suppose I'll say hello back. <laughs> nice to see you. Or not. Nice to speak. Uh, TK says, I used to make sure I had change at the boot say Now I fully expect to pay five, ten, twenty pounds for the better stuff and don't need I'd, change. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay up if there's some good stuff. I'll pay up, no problem. You like bank transferred? I've done, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if you ever has anyone else done that. I've I've done stood there and done PayPal's and bank transfers before now. Do you remember at the Dawlish Warren one you needed, you wanted to do a bank transfer and nobody could get any reception, so no we, had to get, we had to go miles to a bloody cash machine. Yeah, oh, that back. was so friggin' annoying, that. And Mr Sprout said, today move my stuff into a rented office because my house is full of crap. Think I should have got a bigger office. Wow. Uh, it's still full of crap. My phone's going to die, by the way. Is it? Yeah, I told you it'd run Plug out it, of charge. No, you'll be right. That'll last. Plug it in We've only got 15 minutes. you got a charger. It'll be right, trust me. It's told me twice it's going to, I'm low on battery, which means it's literally going to cut off. You know, listen. There you go, that one there. This one? Yeah, but you've got no plug. I have. Oh. Can't unplug that. Why, what's that plugged into? Go on and try it. Yeah. It's a light It's behind. fine, it's fine. I've just, just I've ruined changed, this out. No, I've just changed the mood setting to, like, cosy. Mm. <laughs> just shut the curtain. And... See? Turn the lights off, shut the curtain, something for a good night. <laughs> no uh, comment. Did you just trump? No, it's my stomach. <laughs> Seriously, my stomach is going Burping, to the Burping, trumping. Oh, my God. Um, Sam's Adventures, that's reselling Polly, uh, reselling Polly previously. Everyone's changing their name. Uh, minimum £10 profit, but with a wholesale, I take less. It's not how to put the lead work in for it. Fair enough. Good. Fair enough. Good uh, process. Mondo says, I thought you had a headache then. No? Two Aussie Thrifters has popped in. Good morning, good evening. Good night. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Dave asking Alice if she's single. No, she's bloody not. That's Eric's mother. <laughs> Leave her alone. Chris doesn't... Oh, I don't even care anymore. Chris has the toothbrush. I got rid of the toothbrush. I didn't want to know what had happened with the toothbrush. So, meh, I got myself an electric one, like old folk have. Um, I've got a question for you. I've got a question for the chat. And this could benefit all of us. So, um, the question is, and if you could suggest one thing to give a nice little boost to your eBay sales, what would it be? And that doesn't include take a good photograph, 
Make sure your title's good. Make sure your description. Forget those. A tactic. We want a tactic to boost our eBay sales right now that we can do tonight or tomorrow. Um, put your suggestions in the chat. We want a tactic to boost sales. I'm going to spin to the button, see if anyone uh, comes up with any suggestions for how we can boost get... login and list. <laughs> how we can get um, increase our sales at the moment when they're quiet. Chris's next video upgrading to electric toothbrushes, cleaning stock. <laughs> I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Waited weeks for that thing to arrive. There you go. Brad says um, end promoted listings. End promoted listing and re, and re promote. Yeah. I mean, I I do three and four days on promoted listings. Um, I, I do a Monday to Thursday and then a Friday to Sunday, and I change up the numbers each time. List nothing else matters, says DB Resales. Fair dues. Sean H says getting the price spot on is key. I've been guilty of overpricing and it doesn't work. Brum Resale says Dis dispatch your items. Dispatch your item, sure it boosts the algo. The algorithm. All right. So you don't know the lingo. Mondo Desta Brush says free postage. Oh, I don't do free postage. Shabba live Facebook like you were on QVC. Show people, show people what you have got. Oh. That's not bad. Sometimes when I show stuff like on video, well, quite often on videos, to be fair, um, and it only really works for us as YouTubers, but sometimes if we show something on a video or a live or even on Instagram as well, that does generate a couple of sales. Um, I do get quite a lot of sort of subscriber viewer sales, mm -hmm. but that only doesn't apply to everyone. I understand that. Wes says, when making an offer, message an emotion for them. Give them a reason to buy. Give them a feeling to buy, if you know what I mean. You say that, don't you, when you send your offers out that you kind of... I don't respond. always put a message in, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Uh, Janet Wyland says, I haven't done this yet, but now somebody who has and sales did increase. I don't know what I've missed. If I'm not sure what he's replying if to. If there was something before, yeah. Um, Ray <laughs> says, I've heard a good one from a YouTuber, which is good for use, Chris. Add keyword movie prop in title. I don't actually have that many movie props, but um, Knight's official movie props, Knight's Life, I'm sure he might. Uh, um, maybe he does that anyway. He probably does that, to be fair, movie prop. But Mr. Tonks says, not to have myself, YouTube short of the item with a live link to the to the, to the the item. Hmm. Plenty of hashtags. Okay. Uh, John Wyland says, I do the same as you, Chris. Tip is don't renew promotion when it ends for a week or more. Okay. Uh, Wes, don't make an offer on a Tuesday. People don't get paid till Friday or end of the month. Okay. So unless end of the month is a Tuesday, don't do it. I just send offers. My my tactic with offers is as soon as one becomes available to send, I always send it because I always think to myself that um, if you don't send them that offer as soon as possible, they could be browsing and find another item to buy that's similar to yours. Mm. Because offers don't just get sent to watchers, of course. I think we know that. I think we all know that. They get sent to people who have looked at your item sometimes, somebody who has put it in their basket and then decided to take it out or not made a purchase. Um, just people who have shown an interest in your item. So I always, my tactic is, and I'm not saying it's the right way to do it, but I always think, as soon as that offer becomes available, send it because they might go and buy that somewhere else. Uh, Sean H says, recently I've had some sales through selling offers, which is a bonus. Dave repairs boost, wake up earlier. James says, I've tried a few gaming shorts and they've got 500 to 600 views. Shorts are really popular just now. Yeah, I've done a few, James, but my, uh, I did get one. One's got 2,000 views. It got um, it got put on the shelf overnight once and it literally got 2,000 views in, in like an hour. Went a bit mental. I think I got about, I don't know, about 15 or 20 subs from it as well. So it does work if you can get one there. Uh, 
Put on the shelf, that's what they call it. Cola Flipper says, I set my stock to zero in stock instead of using holiday mode. After my hauls, I put them back to one in stock and the sales went mental. Could be a coincidence, but could be worth experimenting That's with. interesting, Lee. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Chris U says, I don't know, but will revising the listings refresh the algorithm? Sometimes. Sometimes if you do a bulk revision... Um, but don't change anything. So say, for example, go to bulk revise all your items and pick something that it doesn't matter if you change it to the same thing or something slightly different. Maybe uh, revise all your listings, change the dispatch time, but just change it to the same dispatch time that you currently have. That is said to have an effect on your listings. Um, that could be something that you could try. So that's an easy one to try. Um do a bulk revision, but just don't change anything and enter it all in at the end. And TK says, always leave a message with a counter offer saying we'll be posted out today if they accept. I, I do do that. Patient. I do do that. Um, you know, if you if you're in a bit of a uh, a negotiation with somebody, I do say I can post today or I can post tomorrow. Right, we're down to the bottom. So, okay. what have we got before closing shop? We're pretty much at the end. Um, I want to remind people about the raffle for this month. Um, so I'll do that now. I've already sold 50% of the tickets. I've already sold half the tickets. So um, if you want to be in with a chance to win the raffle, um, win one of the prizes in the raffle, then send me a message on Instagram or Facebook and I'll tell you how to enter. It's £5 a ticket. But we've got some great prizes. Can I just interrupt you before you actually no. carry on with this? It's just because it was Sean H that put that comment in earlier that I said I what couldn't remember, and he said, "What would you say is the hot product and the upcoming and the upcoming of eBay sales at present?" It could be bloody anything, to be honest with you. Um, Wees are doing well at the moment. Wees are go flying out at the minute with lockdown still being in full effect. Um, we have somebody that sells puzzles. Puzzles are a big. Yeah, Sell puzzles and board moment. games, but I don't know whether the board games are doing as well as what they were in in the first lockdown, but I know people are still selling Wii's really, really well. So it's hard to tell, really. It's hard to tell any one specific item. Okay, right, you can carry on. Uh, right, raffle. <laughs> if you want to join the raffle, um, there's four prizes. There may be five because I did add an extra prize on last time. Um, the fourth prize is a booby prize. So that's the surprise prize. It's only a little thing. It's just a booby prize. Now, third prize is this set of four cushion covers. Really, really cool. Atari Space Invaders. PlayStation 1 Grand Theft Auto cushion cover. Uh, Atari ET. God, that was a god-awful game, but it looks nice, the cover. And Double Dragon. Ain't that cool? So that was a set of four. That is the third prize, technically. Although we do let you choose which prize if you come out first. And then I've got two prizes of a similar similar value. We've got a mystery box full of all the great stuff. It's a car boot, Chris mystery box. Anyone who's had one of my mystery boxes in the past will know I do not put scrimp. I do not scrimp. That was the word I was looking for. <laughs> There's going to be loads of great items in this box. At the moment, it's empty, but it's going to be filled up with great stuff to either keep or resell. Jason said he sold that ET game for 20 quid two weeks ago. Crap game. Oh, it's terrible. It's <laughs> awful, but the cover looks good. Um, and the other prize we've got is this really, really nice. It's a pre-owned. It's pre-loved, and it, but it is in pretty good condition. It's a bobblehead, head knockers. Um, it's worth around the £50 mark, £50 roughly. Um, it's a NECA uh, Extreme Head Knockers boxed, the really nice. On it's oh, the detail's fantastic. Yeah, the detail's amazing. But it's in very good condition. Um, yeah, but the mystery box is going to be worth around, well, it's going to have probably fifth, oh, well over £50 worth of value. So this might actually be worth more than the Head Knocker, to be honest with you. Um, it depends really if you're going to keep it or, or resell. So if you're going to resell, it can be worth a lot more than £50. Nightlife loves the Predator. 
If you want to join the raffle, send me a message on Instagram and Facebook. I have sold half the tickets already. I think there's 15 tickets gone already. Five pound a ticket. You can buy multiples if you really want to. Um, and there's going to be two, probably two booby prizes. So that'll be five prizes in total. And as we stated last time, keep your expectations floor level for booby prizes. Booby prizes <laughs> are what they are. They're they are booby prize. prizes. Uh, Janet Wylem says, I'll have a ticket, Chris. So okay, we'll... just drop me a message, John. Drop me a message. Sean H and a picture of Belle in the first prize. Oh, that was my belly this mm -hmm. time. Um, we, oh, can... we will send photos out with whatever prize you wish. Yes. Buy a ticket and get in with a chance. There we go. Uh, Sean says, are you not accepting PayPal for the raffle? Um, I can do, Sean. I can do. But what I would say to you is, if you're going to pay by PayPal, do not write raffle in the comments box at all. Just put your name because PayPal have a thing about raffles and it could get me in trouble, my account. Steve Brown says, I still need a ticket on message on Instagram. And Joe Noble said, add a picture of Doggy. We do have some pictures. We could we could add one You in. never know. That, oh, that if, if you win, pitch. just request and we'll see what we can do. It could also be a booby prize, a picture. Jason says, love my cushion cover with retro controllers in the shape of Pac-Man. Oh, yes, I remember, yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, Sean H says, how do you pay? Um, ideally, bank transfer. But I'll send you, if you want to send me a message on Insta or Facebook, I will tell you how to do it, and we'll have a discussion about it. And last but not least, we'll put it in. Has any uh, emails have said anyone having much luck selling Wii games at present? I think, obviously, depending on the game, if, if they're crappy games or the low level games, then you might find it more difficult. But Wii stuff in general is going very, very well at the moment. And James says he'll buy one when he remembers. Okay, no problem. <laughs> well, it's okay before they run out. <laughs> yeah, they, they could run out. Did we run out last time? We didn't run out last time. We, we had a couple left, didn't 27 we? 27 tickets sold last time, and I only have 30 available. So, And, and you've got 15 sold at I've the minute. I've already sold 15, yeah. Okay. So, we're, And we, we'll draw it on the 22nd of February on our live show like tonight. Right. Are we so, wrapping up? Yeah, we are pretty much done, guys. Thanks very much for joining us. We've had a really great uh, level of viewership tonight with numbers. And coming up this week, I've got a video coming out at some point, maybe tomorrow, depending if I do a live or not, probably not a live. So I might release a video tomorrow. Um, also, movie chats on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. This week, it's Laney's pub quiz night. Now, if you are not in our fantastic Facebook group, please go over and join it. It's scrolling across the bottom now. Here. Um, please go and join the Movie Chats Facebook group. And... Um, <laughs> right, quit. <laughs> it's really good. We talk all about films and we share our favourite films. We share what we're watching at the moment, loads of things. We've watched loads of films that people have suggested watching. Yeah. Um, so go and join it now and I will put you in the group. Uh, last two things, Sean H, the tickets are £5 a ticket. Um, and Tori says, is it guest week next week? Yes, it is. Next week, it's free for all week. And that means that any of you guys, if you want to come on live, chat to us, we'll get you on screen and we'll get a few different people on, especially if you're new and never been on before, you're welcome to you'd come. Like to come and join us. We'll pop your cherry. No problem <laughs> about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds quite scary. Yeah, next week, free for all week. It's big chat week. Uh, no specific subject. We're just going to talk whatever you want. We'll just have a good old chin wag. Right. Is that it? Are we done? Yeah. Yes, we're done. Cool. All right. We well, are done. So as thank always, you. thank you so much for joining us and interacting with us. Our shows would not be the same without our fantastic chat interaction that we get. Um, Thank you to all the newbies that have joined us. It's been nice to see you all. And thank you to all the oldies. And we hope to see you all again soon. Okay. See you, everybody. Take Thanks care. for joining us. Stay safe. And don't forget, message me about that raffle. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thanks for your support. Bye. Bye.